so my company that I chose to do for this project is Caesars Entertainment. The reason I chose this company is because one, it is in my industry, which is hospitality, and with that, there's a lot of opportunities for students who are majoring in hospitality, and it's also ranked 328 in the Fortune 500. But I will be discussing the history of the company, products and services offered, employment opportunities, corporate culture, financial data, and my projections for the future. First off, I would like to note that in 1937, the company was founded. This company was started by Bill Hara. He bought the Silver Tingle Bingo Parlor in Reno, Nevada, and renamed it Hara's Bingo Club. Unfortunately, this company was only open for a few weeks because he had no choice but to close it. In 2005, Harris Entertainment Inc. is acquired by merging their assets with Caesars Entertainment. In this deal, they got several properties including Caesars Palace, Bally's Las Vegas in Atlantic City, Harris Las Vegas, Caesars Atlantic City, and a few other properties. This move was huge because this company merged $10.4 billion in assets which created the world's largest gambling company with 43 properties on two continents. With this deal, there was also more risk because this company had more to manage, like with money and properties, and there's also more opportunities for the company to make money since they got so many new properties. In 2010, this company re was renamed to Caesars Entertainment Corporation. In 2012, the company becomes public again after being private for several years with an IPO. They were tra now trading in the NASDAQ under the marketing symbol CSR. In 2015, Caesars Entertainment Corporation, the largest casino company, filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy to reduce their debt. They wanted to reduce their debt from $18.4 billion to $8.6 billion, but the judge halted the case. Caesars Entertainment also offers several products and services. First, there are the casinos and Hotels in places such as Las Vegas, Nevada, Reno, Nevada, Windsor, Ontario, Atlantic City, and Tunica, Mississippi. Also, Caesars Entertainment offers several restaurants, spas, fitness centers, clubs, and shopping in their properties. Also, Caesars offers a loyalty program called the Total Rewards Program. There are several tiers of earning levels. The first one is gold at zero tier credits. The second one is platinum at 5,000 tier credits. The third one is diamonds at 15,000 tier credits, and the fourth one is seven stars at 150,000 tier credits. With this reward program, this encourages people to eat, gamble, stay, and shop at their properties, and hopefully this will get them to come back. Caesars does, has a, Caesars does have a lot of properties, but I'm gonna pick a few just, just to display. The first one is the Link Casino Hotel that is located on the Las Vegas Strip. This is one of their newer properties, which opened in 2011. The second one is the Horseshoe Casino and Hotel, which is in Tunica, Mississippi. Also, pictured here is the Forum Shops that are in Teacher's Palace. I've been to the Forum Shops myself, and there's a lot of stores for the different demographics, so there's stores for everybody. And then here is one of the casino Rooms, gaming rooms picture. This one that I picked is the casino room in Atlantic City for Caesars. Well, Caesars Atlantic City. Also with Caesars, there are several employment opportunities which include retail, food, beverage, gaming, hotels, accounting, and security, and Caesars also has internships as well. Caesars has two different corporate cultures for their guests and their employees. For their employees, they encourage a diverse work environment that fully capitalizes on the talents, skills, and potential of all their employees. What I learned in my hospitality class is that it's important that the employee's personality shine. The second corporate culture that they have is for their guests. The company wants to promote responsible gaming, and which is part of their heritage and culture at Caesars. Also, they want to protect their guests. So they impl implemented two programs, Operation Fed Smart and Project 21 We Care We Card. The Operation Fed Smart helps train their employees about responsible gambling and the 
policies and procedures of the responsible gaming program. The second one is Project 21 We Care Week Hard, which also teaches employees, minors, parents, and guardians about illegal underage gambling and the consequences of gambling illegally. If the if an individual looks 30, the, the company's policy is for employees to card. Here, next I'm going to be discussing is financial data. Well, last week the company closed in the market at $6.80 per share. Here, pictured in this chart is the revenue. In the last few years, the revenue has been very high, but they did have a little bit of a drop in the last, like, from 2013 to 2014, but they're slowly bringing their revenues back up. Here, pictured in this chart is the profits. Well, in the last few years, they've been losing money. To conclude, would I work for this company? Yes, I would work for this company because there's a lot of opportunities for students in the hospitality industry. And I think this company will be successful because more people like to go and gamble, especially in Las Vegas, and I think they'll be successful if they reduce their debt and cut their costs, which will increase their profits. I actually made the time this time. Yeah. yeah.